The blue orchard mason bee is one of the few native bees used in agriculture on a large scale. That's because they are very effective pollinators. This female carries pollen on a patch of hairs on her abdomen called a scopa. The pollen is held loosely, and as she travels from flower to flower, she spreads pollen liberally. This honeybee, on the other hand, is very tidy at gathering pollen. Here you can see the pollen basket, or corpicula, on her leg. The pollen is glued together in a ball with flower nectar. With the pollen tightly bound on both corpiculi, she transfers much less pollen to other flowers than a mason bee. Mason bees are often used to pollinate fruit trees. One acre of fruit trees requires 20,000 honeybees, but it only takes 250 to 300 female mason bees to set a good crop. Here is a male blue orchard mason bee visiting pear blossoms in early spring. We prepared this log with holes for mason bee nests. The holes are lined with cardboard tubes designed specifically for mason bees. The cardboard tubes are changed each year to minimize parasites and pathogens. From early spring through early summer, females are busy bringing pollen and nectar that will feed the developing larvae. Mason bees are solitary nesters that don't live in hives, although multiple females will nest near one another. The cavity has multiple cells, separated by mud dividers. Each cell has a ball made of pollen and nectar, and an egg is deposited with it. In the back of the cavity there are larger cells with larger pollen balls. These eggs will develop into females. The smaller cells towards the front have smaller pollen balls, and these eggs will be males. The last cell is empty and capped with a terminal mud plug. Here's a female sealing up the nesting tube with mud. Through the summer, the larvae feed and grow. Then they spin a cocoon of silk. By fall, they will have developed into adults, but they stay dormant through the winter. In spring, the first to emerge are males. Females emerge later and are larger than males. Although females have the ability to sting, they are docile and harmless if handled gently. If you're interested in native pollinators, blue orchard mason bees are easy to raise and fun to watch. You can buy a mason bee block or make one like we did. Mason bee raising supplies are readily available. Some retailers sell refrigerated cocoons in late winter and early spring. For best results, learn how to care for the cocoons and safely store them for the winter. Extension services and online mason bee supply retailers provide detailed information on how to start a successful nesting block. We put some links in the video description where you can get supplies and learn more. Check with your local garden supply shop about mason bee supplies. Read more about Blue Orchard Mason Bees in our Spring 2020 newsletter.